Good morning. Today is Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time, October 27, 2023. Let me read to you the Gospel of the day from the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 57 to 59. Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Church Fathers offer many different interpretations of this passage. Among them, St. Bede says that our opponent can be seen as the Word of God, in the sense that a Word of God makes war upon our weaknesses and sins. When we listen to the Word of God, our Lord will convict us of our faults, so that we can reconcile our lives with the truth of the Word of God Himself. When you think about God's Holy Word in its entirety, what most convicts you? Sometimes we try to downplay such personal convictions. We rationalize our actions and dismiss what God is saying to us. Are there any teachings of Jesus that you recall that have truly stung you to the heart? If so, this is a grace, and it's an opportunity to fulfill the lesson from our Lord taught in the passage above. God does not convict our hearts so as to condemn us. Rather, He convicts us as an opponent to our sin so that we can make an effort to settle the matter on the way. The conscience is a wonderful gift from our Lord and can be likened to this passage above. It is a form of courtroom where our Lord desires not to have to issue punishment upon us. Instead, He desires that we engage His Holy Word, listen to what He says, and settle our sin by repenting immediately. Among the many lessons taught by our Lord, it is often the lesson that jumps out at us, even in a startling way, that we need to pay attention to the most. God often brings His most urgent teachings to us by causing us to feel a sense of guilt that cannot be denied. If we listen to these convictions, then we will not have any need to stand before the judge. But if we do not, if we bury these convictions, downplay them and ignore them, then our Lord will find it necessary to keep at us. We will begin to experience His judgment and we will see the effects of being out of His good graces. And in the end, if we fail to repent of the more serious sins in our lives, then we will even be held accountable for the smallest of sins. We will be required to pay the last penny. Reflect today upon the idea that the Word of God, all that our Lord has taught us, is the opponent to the sin in your soul. This good and holy opponent wants only what is best for you. Commit yourself to an ongoing reading of God's holy word so that you will be continually disposed to hear all that God wants to say to you and so that you will be able to reconcile with our Lord before he is compelled to issue forth his judgments. My most merciful judge, you desire that I listen to your holy word revealed through scriptures so as to receive your most merciful conviction of my sin. I pray that I will be open to always hear all that you desire to say to me so that I can respond with generosity and trust, reconciling with you and others continually through my journey and life, and live in my conscience with your holy word, dear Lord. 
Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.